Well, Georgia Tech loses. The final coach is maybe not indicative of where the margin was, but take me from the second half on. The first half, you just withstood a tremendous barrage of threes that Carolina threw at you. Well, they, they did a good job again in transition. Um, execution on some of the stuff that we needed to get done wasn't there. Um, again, it's, it's hard to simulate how fast they're going to push the ball down the court, how well their big guys run. And what ended up happening is our guards that were back had to hold the rim because the big guys were getting there and it opened up to three point shots. Um, and then, you know, guys that you know, are good shooters, when they get in a rhythm, they were able to knock them down. When you look at the second half, though, your team could have folded up, and I know we're, we're beyond the moral victory concept here, but there were some things to build on there in that second half. Well, I thought there were some flashes throughout the game. You know, in the first half, they had 18 baskets, we had 14. Mm -hmm. The problem was they had eight threes at that particular time. Uh, they had also gotten to the free throw line. And then in the second half, we did a much better job in transition. They're going to get some. They're good. Um, we, we did a better job of taking care of the ball and making some plays for each other. And, you know, we had some bright spots. I thought Jason Morris really played well today. I thought, um, you know, we keep getting really good play from Julian Royal as well. And Mufon had some very good decisions out there today. Coach, I want to ask you about Julian. Last four or five ball games, I, I said late in the game, you could argue maybe your most consistent and developing player. Well, no question, he's our most developing player. Um, and the one thing I like about him, uh, makes a mistake, you're able to tell, tell him, and he doesn't make the same mistake again. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and unfortunately, that's something we, some other guys need to get better at. You talk to him about a decision, and then two plays later, it's the same thing. We, you can't have that, especially in this league and against who we're playing. At the top tonight, we talked about how tough these two ball games would be. Here tonight, Tallahassee on Wednesday night. Your team has got to continue to persevere above all else. Well, that's the thing that's important. That the, the game on Wednesday marks the end of the first round. Um, we need to play better the, the second half. But we need to make sure that we're building some momentum mm -hmm. by doing some of the things we dealt, did well tonight and continuing that, and then shoring up some of the things we didn't so, do so well. Obviously, a different team that's not, not going to play the same style, but they're just every bit as difficult to prepare for. Coach, thanks. Thank you. That's Brian Gregory.